great green built home starts with a solid insulated foundation. In this segment of our series on the construction of 404 Park Street in Old Town Fort Collins, we'll follow Southwark design builders as they pour a reinforced concrete foundation using energy efficient insulated concrete forms or ICFs. But before they start pouring concrete, let's chat with Dennis Selvik about the ICFs. So Dennis, tell me about how do these actually, how do you put these together? How do you assemble the forms? Well, if you've got any experience as a, as a kid playing with Legos, um, you would know. Because they just pretty much, they just kind of lock together. Once it's on top of another, the uh, dimensions are, of these are about, uh, well, this one's cut down, but they're 16 inches high, 4 feet long, and 12 inches wide. Uh -huh. These ties kind of hold the uh, styrofoam together. They also provide the back, you can't see it very well, but the, there's plastic ties so you can put drywall or, or siding or anything you want on, on the surface out there with uh, screws. So that's pretty much uh, what a ICF form looks like. So you don't need anything, no glue, nothing to attach them. You just stack them, kind of just, fit them together. Just stack them like Legos, exactly. Um, and then put rebar, these little, these little, uh, pieces right here are, are places for rebar to sit. So reinforcing bar all sits there horizontally every course and then you can stick the verticals in there. So it's much like any concrete wall full of uh, concrete and then rebar spaced out according to the engineering specifications. That was a great pour despite some rainy weather. Go to our blog at www.blog.greenteamre.com for more on the benefits of ICFs and tune into our next segment on the construction of 404 Park Street where the Southwark team will educate us on advanced framing techniques.